Hello everybody, and welcome back to Autobox Plays Legend of Grimrock. In the last episode, we actually killed the Viper Roots up in this area. Yeah, up right there. Then we managed to make our way forward and explore a bit of the Twig Root Forest. We looked around a bit, got, um, encountered wood people, that sort of deal. And we went down into this area. In that area, we explored... A good amount. We almost got screwed over by some Skelebros, but with the power of wind magic and sheer dumb luck, I suppose, we managed to make our way out of there. All things considered, let's get back to the game. Anyway, here we are exploring a new area, and that's basically it. You're more or less caught up. Okay, never mind. Alrighty, let's take stock of what actually is going on right now. Let's take a look at our character's food. They seem to be doing completely fine. Um, we might want to consider actually making some health potions. Just because, you know, we kind of got the, 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 the knight? Actually hit really hard. There we go. It's easier for you to remember if left is melee attack. Okay, we'll give you the guns. Just a lot of pellets. If someone actually used firearms, then this would be great. Fortunately, not the case. Okay. Um always be looking around for stuff. Did get some mushrooms. I mean, we probably should put them into the mushroom chest. Wait, these are these are nutrition. Oh, all right then. Hey, bud. Like I don't see you there. And with that, you should be dead. It. We did get a really, really good axe out of the finding the skeleton, so I feel very happy about that. Fortunately. There's no real way for us to get into there, so as we just go out, is church point torch? Is church burnt out? Uh, yes, it is. We'll keep it in our inventory, but I don't necessarily feel too bad if we left leave it behind. Um, it is something that we can use. Bam. Lovely. Can use it as like fodder for just putting it on platforms and that sort of deal. So it does have some merit to staying in our inventory, but not necessarily like forever. Um Okay. So there is somebody in there. Huh. Okay. I don't necessarily want to use up all of my guy's energy, so let's just chill for now. We should be able to hit, like, kill them straight up like this. Okay, lovely. We did level up. Let's see. Okay. So if we put that in there... I give this to you. Okay. I should probably get used to, you know, crafting potions on the fly. Okay. Alrighty. So, all things considered, let's put this back on there and fight you. Because I do want to kill him before we actually consider leveling up. Okay, lovely. Um, we aren't able to get in this area. It's fine. Okay, now that we actually have leveled up, let's take a look at our little spreadsheet on the side and look at our stats, or at least our skills. So, we are level 3 right now, and I think I want to get some more points into our armor. Um,. I can definitely understand the reasoning behind why you want to get the armor early on. 
the fact that we are getting a lot of heavy armor pieces and like they're they're weighing us down um getting rid of those penalties early seems very very useful and also he's our tank so it makes sense for him to actually want to have that higher armor armor rating if you know what i'm saying um but eventually after that we do want to put points into heavy weapons so that we're actually hitting harder um then accuracy just because he can't aim for fucking shit like he can't aim to save his life i'm sorry man but you have really terrible accuracy minus one lovely is there any merit to putting it on switching these two? Ah, huh, okay, cool. I guess they're all ambidextrous. Lovely. Anyway, let's take a look at our insectoid battle mage, and from what we see. Uh Okay. We probably want to put it point in concentration, because we do get a plus one. That allows us to get the extra benefits at level 3 with the wand equipped. Um, at level 3, your energy regeneration is increased by 25% while resting. Okay, cool. Lovely. Works for me. Uh, our Rattling Rogue. Apparently we just want to keep putting points into light weapons. Into light weapons. Just so that we can increase our, our damage. At Level 3, you can dual wield light weapons as long as one of them is a dagger. At level 5, you can dual any light weapon. When dual wielding, you suffer a 40% weapon damage penalty. Ah, okay. Fair enough. So for our Lizard Alchemist, apparently we just want to put shit in throwing. Like, we want him to throw as much as freaking possible. And you know what? I can agree with that. Alright. Um, great. Well, we found the quick save button. It's F5. For all those who are curious about that. It's weird that the game lags out so much when we're actually doing a bit of saving. Hmm, strange. Okay, we're making our way around here. We did find a set of lockpicks, which is very nice for us. Let's open that up, and this opens up this area. This will actually give us access to that, um, that stone. So let's go back and grab it. So now that we actually have access to this new area, let's pick this up. We had a power gem, and we did get some leather stuff. Um, this is light armor. And does he, who has light armor stuff? Put this on to you, and we will give you the light. This. Put that on. Give that to you. Put that in there. And let's just stick these in here. I don't like having my inventory completely cluttered. We'll give you all the letters. And you'll be put that, that down there. Sorry, we're doing a bit of inventory management. It's... Didn't mean to eat that, but okay, not the end of the world. Mm, do you have any? So who has light? Who has armor? None of them. Okay. So considering that, what I think we want to do is put that on you because it makes the most sense. And. Do you have any armor on your head? No, you don't. Okay, so we give this to you. Um, open all both the sacks, and then you can just store these in here. We don't actually have any... Um... So all we have is fire magic and air magic. That's fine. It requires water and earth, and this requires just straight earth. All right. So we'll leave that as that. So we want to equip this onto you. What's in here? More letters. So this is the letter sack. And that's a recipe for alchemy. Good. Recipes aren't too hard to remember, so I don't necessarily feel too bad about leaving that there. Um, yeah. All right, I guess we just make our way out now. I wonder what the power gems are used for. I've never got too far into the game to actually figure out what they do. So, 
That's fine. Anyway, let us make our way all the way across here and take a little swip swipe at this part. Okay, but I do know there are doggos in this area. I gotta be careful of that. Are they weak to shock? No. Okay. Well, let's seem to do more damage against them. Okay. Lovely. This gave us some warg meats. Get our throwing daggers back. Damn, those wargs hit hard. Um, let's rest for a little bit. Hopefully we can. No, we could. Okay. We it is dark now. So, for the viewer's sake, I will equip a torch onto this part. Don't necessarily want to, but um, just so you guys can see something. There is a light spell that I want to grab, I just don't actually know if I can cast it. Or what the actual combination is. Hey, there's another way out. Alright, good to know. Okay. It seems we're, we're just gonna be, um... Oh, we're, shoot, we're bled. I don't feel too bad about, um, just straight up. So what's happening to you? You have chest injury, no regeneration. That's not very good, uh, all things considered. Because that's a lot of damage that you're gonna be doing to us. Or, like, we're gonna be taking just because of the fact that he can't regenerate. Um... So, let's see. Let's take a look at their hunger. Shoot, that's not good. And I do see more wargs coming. Okay. We will hand over our potion to you. Just consider. Get a air spell ready. Alright, just beat the shit out of it. Beat the shit out of it, boys. Come on. Okay, managed to kill that. Um, there is a guy here. Unfortunately, no energy left. That's fine, we should be able to beat him down the regular way. Okay, just don't die, is all I ask. Okay, pick this up. And what I think we sh could do... Oh shoot, this could be good. This could be very good for us. A baton and a zappy. Oh, baby! So this is... The story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world? No, we're not doing that. Uh, okay. So... Because this guy can use light weapons, what does more damage? Scaling off decks, so this won't do as much good for us straight up. So, don't worry about that. Let's, what weighs more? The turtle steaks? So, I'll give one to you, you, and you. We'll put all the warg meat in here. Um, so, what's more effective for us as opposed to carrying the straight up protection? Plus two. That doesn't necessarily do us a lot of good just because of the fact that it hurts us. Okay, putting that on. And let's eat. Putting this into the alchemy chest here. And I do think that we actually do make potions, at least four. Just so that we have. We're not in a pinch, basically. So we'll make four. Okay. And we will, however, m make at least two potions for energy. Because there have been times where it was just like, what do we do? We don't actually have anything. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Fuck me. All right, so you're given two. You got one. And I fucking use the one that I want to make. Alright, so... Okay, 
Click on you. Look at that. Click here. Bam. Alright, now don't be stupid and do that again. Let's rest for now. And yeah, he's just straight up not regenerating any of his stuff. Um shoes. I don't know how to fix that. Well, that's not very good. I don't feel too confident about that. Hopefully we do run into a save crystal sometime soon, so that way maybe it actually can heal us. And let's take stock of the area. So we've been around these two different parts. And notice there's actually something right here we actually could get into. It's weird that it's not actually allowing us to do that. So, nothing up front. Nothing inherently there. Okay. Um, I guess we should go down, go back, and then go down this area and see what we got. What does this say? A R E U H U K O R E U H U E. What? I'm confused. Creepy. Alright. Well, I guess we fully explored this area. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem we're actually going to be running into. Um, a... There's another way. Okay. Anyway. I think what we want to do is actually go back into this area and see what we got. Um, it's a little dicey, all things considered, just because of the fact that we don't have any regeneration on our mage, and he is in our or our battle mage, and he is providing a lot of DPS for the for the team. Um, but I think this is where we're gonna actually end the episode for right now. In any case, if you like the video, please hit the like button, helps out a great deal, and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Uh, for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.